From the Imitation of Christ by Thomas A. Kempis From Book 4 on the Blessed Sacrament Chapter 4 On the Many Benefits Bestowed on Those Who Communicate Devoutly Disciple O Lord my God, grant your servant the blessing of your kindness that I may be worthy to approach your sublime sacrament with true devotion. Rouse me from the sloth and idleness which have gripped me, that my heart may more readily be lifted up to you. Come to me with your saving presence, and let me in spirit taste your sweetness, which lies hidden in the most blessed sacrament, as in a plentiful fountain. Give light to my eyes too, that I may gaze upon this great mystery, and strengthen me to believe it with persevering faith. It is you who effect this work. No human being has such power. It is your holy institution and not human invention. No human beings are able to grasp and understand these things of themselves, for they are far above even the keen intelligence of the angels. And shall I, a wretched sinner, mere dust and ashes, be able to probe and grasp so sacred and incomprehensible a mystery? Dear Lord, with simplicity of heart, in good and stable faith, and at your command, I approach you, full of confidence and adoration, truly believing that you are present in this sacrament, God and man. It is your will that I receive you and bind myself to you in love. Most merciful Lord, I beg of you that special grace that my soul may melt and overflow with your love never concerning myself again with any other comfort but your own. This most exalted and worthy sacrament is the health of both soul and body, the remedy for every spiritual sickness. By it all vices are cured, passions restrained, temptations overcome or diminished. By it grace is poured forth, confirming faith, strengthening hope, inflaming and enlarging charity. O oh my God! the support of my soul, the repairer of human infirmity, and the giver of all spiritual consolation, you have given, and frequently still give, many blessings in this sacrament to those beloved souls who receive you with devotion. Many are the comforts you give them to sustain them in all their troubles. From the depths of their own misery you lift them up, giving your elect the hope of your protection. You renew them and enlighten them interiorly and with a kind of new grace, so that those who felt anxiety and abandoned without love before communion were changed for the better after receiving this heavenly food and drink. You are pleased to deal with your chosen ones in this way, that they may more fully realize and admit their own weakness and how much they gain in goodness and grace from you. Of themselves they are cold, dry and lacking in devotion, but after receiving you, they become fervent, cheerful, and devout. Who can come humbly to the fountain of sweetness without carrying away with them some of its sweetness? Or who can stand by a blazing fire and not feel some of its heat? You, O oh Lord, are a fountain, ever full and overflowing, a fire always burning and never dying out. Therefore, although I may not draw from the fullness of this fountain, nor drink till my thirst is quenched, I will at least sip a few drops of these heavenly waters, that I may not be utterly parched. If I cannot be entirely spiritual and, like the cherubim and the seraphim, be on fire with charity, I will try at least to be sincere in my devotion and to prepare my heart, so that through the humble reception of this life-giving sacrament, I may catch some small spark of the divine fire. O Jesus, my holy Savior, from your gracious kindness supply what is wanting in me, for you did not refuse to call all to yourself, saying, Come to me, all you who are weary and overburdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. I labor, indeed, in the sweat of my brow, I am tormented by a sorrowful heart, burdened by my sins, troubled with temptations, and caught up in and oppressed by many evil passions. But there is no one to help me, 
for who can deliver me and save me, and to whom can I commit myself and all that is mine, except you, Lord God, my Savior. You, who have prepared your body and blood for my food and drink, save me, receive me, for the praise and glory of your name, and bring me to everlasting life. Grant me, O Lord, my Savior, a daily increase in devotion through the frequent reception of your sacred mystery. Trust all things to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and to Mary, help of Christians, and you will see what miracles are. St. John Bosco. To learn more about your vital, irreplaceable, indispensable, and God-given holy apostolate of reparation, visit www.theworkofreparation to the holy face of Jesus.com. Jesus said to Sister Mary of St. Peter, By my holy face you will work wonders, appease the anger of God, and draw down mercy on sinners, and he still means it. <laughs>